It's 8.30 in the morning. Here's a view out our room in St. Louis of the Gateway Arch. We're going there shortly. Here's the river. Looks like the water level's quite low. I suppose that's why we're getting our cruise ship upstream in Alton, Illinois in a few days. Notice the traffic. What you can't tell is the heat coming through the window. We are facing east and the sun's up, but it is hot. Rooms over there, seventh floor on the corner. Going to be 110 today. These kids know how to beat the heat. Riding to the top of the Gateway Arch is like a Disneyland ride. You all stand at the edge, the doors open, and you enter what they call a barrel. There's eight of them, and they seat five people. Here's how the mechanism works to get people to the top. Rather ingenious. Here's a view from inside the little cabin going up into the Gateway Arch. I'm glad we're not taking the stairs. Evidently there's over a thousand of them. It's four minutes going up and three minutes coming back down. one of the several viewing windows. There's a view of the old courthouse, our hotel, and over here is the ballpark. We have a very nice museum here, and it's free. This indicates that St. Louis was founded February 15, 1764. Soon, this is a life-size bison. The Indians use all parts of the buffalo or bison. Nothing went to waste. This is a section on Manifest Destiny. 1821, Mexico wins independence from Spain after an 11-year war. Here's the village of St. Louis in the 1700s. Looks fairly prosperous. Big wheel for a big paddle wheel boat on the Mississippi. Doga wagon, probably before the trip, looks pretty good. I wouldn't want to go a thousand miles in that though. All your worldly goods. Here's the waterfront. A lot of paddle wheel boats. There's the buildings right along the river.
Here's what the Mississippi looked like here at St. Louis when they built this new bridge, which is still standing. The bridge was completed in 1874. Here's how St. Louis grew. Here's St. Louis in 1844. In 1948, they had a competition to build a memorial here in St. Louis and Aero Saarinen won. He was 38 years old. We saw a movie about the construction of the arch. Pretty darn scary. Can't imagine the men who did that work up to 630 feet in the air. Pretty scary work. They are bringing in the keystone. We saw that in the movie. Pretty amazing. Right in there to finish it up. There's a nice park here. Nice little pond. Oh, there's some ducks out there, but gee, it's over 100 degrees and there's no people. There's the bridge they built in 1874. Over here is the north tower going up. This is made out of stainless steel. Slabs of stainless steel are welded together. There are cruises available, but we're not going to do that because we're going to be cruising for a week. And here's the flags. There's three of them. I still don't know what the red one is. Looks like. One of the park rangers said the water level is about 30 feet below what it normally would be this time of year. There is one small boat out there moving, but we'll see a lot more cargo ships as we move upstream. Here's the North Tower. Hotels, high rise. The dome is the old courthouse, some more hotels, and various other buildings to the South Tower. I think the foundation here goes down 60 feet to the bedrock. You can't get far enough back to get the whole arch without the trees in the way. So we'll do this. It's a beautiful old courthouse, but it's under renovation. It goes up to 630 feet, and up there there are some teeny tiny windows to look out. And then here's coming down the other side. There's an old-fashioned riverboat. <laughs> 